Alright, so this is match three with the Mono White Enchantments deck. Here's Melissa. Yep. And we're not going to mulligan this hand. And we're on the draw. And I wonder how this deck does against aggro decks. Hopefully we'll play against like a zoo deck, maybe? Oh, I think it would do pretty well against an aggro I feel like, deck. Yeah, I feel like that's actually where it excels. This could be good. Here comes the... This could, could be, be in the cattle. Could be hate bears. That's probably my Lyra pod. Yeah, probably. But that's still fine. Right? Because um, accurate abilities and stuff? Oh, yeah, it's totally fine. We need to draw a suppression uh, field or something. Maybe he plays another creature, we just play nodes and yeah. start killing this stuff. Even a two for one with nodes is pretty solid. Nodes for days. Correct, one nodes for one. one day. So our friend Mike was, uh, he went to Wendy's and he came back, right? And he was ordering food. And as he was walking up the driveway or through the yard, a wasp got under his foot and stung him while it was between his shoe and his foot. So he's coming in, he's carrying all this food, he's spilling his drink, and he's got a wasp sting in his foot. And then he gets in here and he's in a lot of pain. And it's like for the first time he's ever been stung by a wasp. His birthday's tomorrow. And, um, you know, he, he, so he, he lost some of his food. He's got a wasp thing. And then I just got a message and it says, wow, ordered chicken sandwich, got burger. So I'm not sure how it could actually get worse for Mike today. Poor Mike. Ordered a chicken sandwich, got a burger. At least today isn't his birthday. I guess that's true. His birthday is on April Fool's. Wow, that poor friend would have been so good. But he only has two cards in his hand right now. Yeah, like... As soon as he draws a birthing pot, the game is pretty much over. For us or for him? For us. Why? We can just oblivion the birthing pot. Yeah, but he gets so much value off of it. You really think so? What does he get? We could O-ring this guy right now if you, if you want. Um, that might be better. We have a second O-ring, so it's probably fine. I just realized why that's bad. Why? Because you can pod the wall of roots into a harmonic sliver. Okay, I mean, he has to have a pod, too. Or we can just... I'm blaming the wall. I don't even no, care. No, don't do that. That's silly. But then what is having a voice? Like, what does his card? What do his cards do? He can have Malira, but in order to play a Viscera Seer, he has to be able to, like, do things, activate things. Sure. It's our friend Spellskite. Where are your hands, Spellskite? I don't even have any... Oh, that's really good. That card is really good. Wow. I don't think he has another one, either. This deck usually plays two Abrupt Decays. And by another one, I don't know what I meant. Did I mean Abrupt Decay? Is that what I was saying? Yes, I think you meant Abrupt Decay. Yeah, I did. So, he didn't crack his Misty. He's like, alright, let's go to game two. Your deck is stupid. That's what I would say right now if I was him. I mean, so far, Ghostly Prison doesn't do anything. Right, but it's like, when you see all these cards, it's so hard to work around. Like, you have to take into account, like, five different things... Whenever you make a play, you're like, okay, if I play this, am I going to be able to attack with it? Is it am I going to have to sacrifice it? Can I use the abilities on it? And it gets to a point where you're just like, I don't feel like, you know, figuring all this out for every every single spell I play. At least for me. What did you just do? Cracked Misty? Yep, you got a, a basic forest. Got a forest. Look at these foily Theros forests. You must have done a lot of drafts. I have to assume this is Moliropod. Because it's a, it's got the junk the junk framework. <clears throat> Alright, so he's I think he's Court of Calling here. Which is actually pretty good. He can get a harmonic sliver and kill the porphyry nodes. Yeah. That's real good for him. Man, this porphyry nodes would have done some work. Hmm. For, For two, because oh, I have pride mage. mage. Yep. Yep, that's a thing. Man. I guess when a deck has like ten different ways to get its creatures and it has two breath decays as well. So he has a pride mage, a harmonic sliver, four birthing pods, three cord of calling usually, mm -hmm. and two abrupt decays. So he has eleven ways to get an enchantment or a Yep, that seems fine. It's not great, but I'll deal with it. 
Um, I wouldn't play that yet. Okay. I'd play Heliod here, actually. Yeah. Then uh, next turn, you can actually play the uh, Ruined Halo, and Heliod will turn on. I like turning Heliod on. Oh, do you? Uh, no, I'm uncomfortable right now. Oh, he's. I think he's, here comes the Birthing Pod. Yep. Oh, I got a bee pod. I think he cracks Spell Sky to get a Harmonic Silver, perhaps? He's got one card in hand, so once we obliterate the Oblivion Ring, the Birthing Pod, we should be in good shape. I hope so. But he does have a Spell Skite. Yeah, we can't actually O Ring the Birthing Pod. Sure. Because he has a Spell Skite. We're going to have to O Ring that instead. That's actually fine. Huh. I guess we get Spell Skite. We have to, right? Yeah, we'll hit Birthing Pod and make him pay two life. Fair. Maybe he'll just F6 through it. You got it, Spell Sky. I think we should also play the Rune Halo and swing. What do we play? What do we name? Um, we can name um, Kitchen Fink. So oh, we have name... Red, red Cap, right? Uh, yeah, we can name Red it Cap. It gives us protection, so if he's comboing with the Red Cap. Yep. Yeah, we can totally do that. Because he's never attacking us. Murder of Crows, Murderous Red Cap. Not Murder of Crows. I don't want that. That was a good card, though. That was like an air elemental that made you... Like, you could loot with... Yeah, that card was really good. And he's also at 12, so like... We could actually just make a few tokens. Yep. Do some stuff and some things and some. If we draw Nykthos, we're all set. That would be real good. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'd tap three to add six. We'd have eight, so we can make two tokens a turn. Just jumping with the wall of roots. Yep. Wall of roots. Is so it funny when people so say roots like roots? Uh, harmonic sliver, I would imagine. If he's playing it, like most decks don't have both the harmonic sliver and, and the Crystal, you think uh, harmonic sliver is in the, just the sideboard? Yeah, probably. Why doesn't Heliod have vigilance? Oh, uh, same reason like Nylia. All the gods only give their ability to their friends. Their Except friends. for Thassa, I guess. Thassa can make herself unblockable. Yep. Uh, you gotta pay two for that, buddy. And he is. Then I'll take it. What's the other card? Um, Erebos? Doesn't really do anything for his friends. Uh, Nylia only gives trample to other creatures, as you you realized yesterday while playing against her. And what else? Who's the other god? Heliod, that's a... Uh, uh, Perforos. Perforos. Those are all creatures. Oh, I'll get, get I guess he gets Pride, Pride Mage. Mage. Yep. Well, let's see if that's what he does. Let's draw our suppression field. No, oh, he gets back Abrupt Decay. That's good, too. Oh, that's good, yeah. Hmm, does that do anything? It does, actually. It, it does things. Does it makes him, um, he can't win with red cap anymore. Does Sphere do more right now? No. We don't care if he attacks us for four, for four and pays four mana to do it. Okay. Yeah, I would totally play Leyline here. Plus it adds two to our devotion if we do draw that Nykthos. What is he gonna, I don't know what he's gonna... What is he going to abrupt decay? Well, I like think a, his plan was to abrupt decay a, the, the murderous, the murderous red, red cap uh, so he yeah. can combo. Oh, and he just realizes that he can't do it, I guess. Yeah, because like, he can never attack us for enough, I guess. And there's a Nykthos. Oh, yeah, this, this game was like, way over if we do Nykthos. All right, so Stony Silence seems good. Yeah, Stony Silence is it's like pretty narrow, but it's probably better than some other stuff we have. Well, it like... shuts off Birthing Pod. Yes, it does shut off Birthing Pod. Uh, Rest in Peace is real good. And Wrath is good. So I would bring in three Wraths, three Rest in Peace. All right, what are we taking out? The ley lines are not that good. Yeah, they're pretty narrow. They're they're more narrow than the other cards we'd be bringing in. Oh, you know what card is actually really bad? I realized this last night when I played against a pod deck. Tell Nevermore. Is Nevermore. Really you bad. never. What do you name? You know. Yeah, it's very bad. You can name Birthing Pod. But it's basically like a slaughter. It's like a white slaughter games. Like you can yeah. name a card and they may never draw it. Yeah. Plus, they have a lot of ways to get that card out of their deck anyway, by, and not cast it. So it Stony Silence also shuts off Spell Skite. So oh this, yeah, sure. So, so this is stuff. 61 cards. What yeah. else do we take? Um, we probably don't need all four rest in peace. Okay, that's fair. Alright, I think we're good.
No, you never want to draw two rest in peace. No timely reinforcements, you don't think? Nah. We have, like, wraths and nodes. Like, now we're... we're wraths and now. nodes. I like the one Heliod. It's kind of funny. You know, just in case. Uh, This seems fine. We could use some lands, but we're on the draw. Yeah, we have and a, we have a rest in peace to temple land, so we're all right. We just need really like one land, one plains, and, and we are good to go. G two G, as the kids say. I heard them say it. The kids? Yeah, they're okay. chatty. Bop. Perfect. Perfy. Oh, bottom. Don't need two. Well, that was perfect. You're correct. One more land, and we are. We drew the perfect card and put the perfect card in the bottom. You're right. Now if we draw periphery nodes, then we're... Oh, boy. Can we just draw some nodes, please? Oh, that's no nodes. You are no nodes. Can we just draw um, a fourth land for Wrath of God, please? <laughs> All right, let's take it easy. Okay. We already have Ghostly Prison. We're getting there. That's not the same. Well, he drew a land. And he played it. And he took two. He's at 14? Man, this is like... What is this, Legacy? No, actually, that's Modern. That makes sense. How do you take all this damage? Oh, two fetches? Okay. I was like, what is this, Legacy? But then I'm like, actually, you take less damage in Legacy. Yep. Because you get dual lands. I forgot that it's Modern where people start the games at 13 life. What did he do? He burling pod did We don't even have a thing. Let's get out of here. Probably a voice. Oh, he sacked the wall? No, not a kitchen things, probably. Harmonic sliver, probably. Get rid of rest in peace. Actually, that's fine. Who cares about a kitchen things? Sin collect what oh, oh I guess he gets wrath. A sin collector. Jeez. That's, that's actually fine. That's, that's not what we wanted. It's kind of lucky play at all. that he hits that actually. Yeah. Why would you play it? Like, you didn't see a single instant or sorcery last game. Yeah, but, like, we're white. We have to have path. But we... Oh, I see what you're... You're, you're being... You're, you're being patronizing. No, like... If, oh, that's really good. Like, if we were... Bink. A pod player and we were playing against a white deck, we would think that they have to have path. So that's probably why we're on sync. Do you even notice I just hit a stony silence? I'm very proud of you. I think this is great. Thank you. Hope you got that guy in hand, buddy. He probably does. Wait, which guy? The, I don't know, Harmonic Sliver, Casali Pride Mage. One of his two gentlemen that could kill the Stony Silence. Mm -hmm. And I bet he does. He doesn't. That's a, that's a stink finks. Yep. Man, where's our wrath? Where is our right wrath here. we need it? We actually need a land more than we need our wrath. There's Helios. Helios got a videos. No, that's Helia, not Hideos. Oh, you're right. That's a different guy altogether. <laughs> so we have one, two, three, so this is going to just do itself. Do it, It's going to do itself right now. Um, God, that rat one, was two, so three, important. Four, five. It really was good. He actually has six mana, so he can attack for one, two, three, four, six, seven. He's just going to kill on the beatdown plan, I guess. Mm -hmm. Even drawing a land at this point doesn't really do it. We need to draw two lands in a row so we can drop our sphere of safety. Two, three. Yeah, Heliod wouldn't be online even. But it's tying up. His, he has one card in hand and it's tying up his mana. So, well, that'll. That's a start. All right. So we'll need another land. No, we won't, because uh, Heliod will. Oh, you're right. Will okay. activate. It'll turn yeah. Nykthos into something better. All right, great. So next turn we can go sphere. This is great news. He'll have to pay five per guy, and Heliod would be online. So. We should survive this turn. You have to pay seven mana for a guy. One, two, three, four, five. You're right, because of the ghostly prison as well. Good lord. Oh, he just drew Gavany, though. No, he can't ever activate a Gavany. No. This is just a, this is a, this is a basic land. Basic land colorless right now. Basic land colorless. That's a thing I just made up. Do you ever remember those discussions about how magic was going to have another color and it was going to be like purple? Yep. And, oh, that's awesome. Bottom. Yeah. 
Hideous. Yeah, no attacking, unfortunately. Nah, not worth it. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. He can attack with one guy. And we have a heal to block. Yeah, so... So, no, not happening. And if he draws a removal spell for Sphere, then we, we're in trouble. Yep. So we're just dead. That's what I mean. That's trouble to me, right? That is trouble. Right. I mean, you can you can split hairs and be like, no, we're not in trouble, we're dead. But I'm like, to me, dead is trouble. Okay. I don't know how you define trouble. If we draw a land, we can make two guys next turn and start attacking because they have vigilance. And if we don't... Oh, we can actually... One, two, three, four, five... No, that does nothing. That's... It does something. He has an unlimited kitchen fix now. What's that kitchen fix going to do? That does... oh, wait. That's his hand. Wait, no he doesn't. Because there's a rest in because peace. Because there's a rest in peace. He'll never go he to... He has nothing. He just goes to the graveyard. That's a thing. Hmm, that is a thing. Um, how much do we add with Nykthos? One, two, three, four, five. So we have five... We have seven mana. We can Oblivion Ring something. I think we just play Sigil here, maybe. Or do we want to O-ring something in case he gets something? He's going to gab any township here. This doesn't do anything, though. No, it doesn't. still doesn't do anything. Do we I, just want to get rid of the birthing pot in case he has, like, um, Sony Silence or something? I think we can, like, he's in top deck mode. I think we can just play Sigil, um, Sigil here. Okay. Did deal. you say in case he has Stony Silence? I don't, in case he has something to get rid of it, I think that was what I was trying to say. But um, I did not say that. I'm going to pass. He didn't activate the thing. I think he's like, I don't care anymore. My life is over. Maybe. He probably wasn't as... Oh, no. Oh, wow. That's real good. We're dead now. Not yet. He's got to pay... He's still got to pay two per guy. And we have Heliod. Oh, no. He gets rid of Stony Silence. Oh, all right. Do we just die? Oh, I don't know. No, we have Rest in Peace, though. So he's going to give a Harmonic Sliver and kill our... I, I, oh, I... Oh. I had a feeling we should have played the Ring. Yep, that's game. It's still not game. How's that not game? He just gets rid of Ghostly Prison and then Alphas. We're dead. Or Sphere, rather. Oh, I guess he can, he can only attack with one guy. No, he, he can attack with two guys. Yeah, we're still not dead. We can Oblivion Ring... something. Yeah, we're going to be making four forwards now, so we can O-Ring his Birthing Pod. Hmm. Make a four four. And be stabilized. Four. Oh, yo, is that does that do that though? One, two, three, four, five, six. He can attack with four guys next turn. Oh, but if he doesn't, if he doesn't have four guys. Oh, this could actually be fine for us. Yeah, we have out still. Um, what do we block here, Malira? Yeah, I think Malira. She seems more Malira. relevant. Um. So if we add... Nicholas, one, two, three, four. With... Nicholas adds five, six, seven, eight. So we can actually go Sigil Oblivion Ring. Oh, yeah, perfect. That's gonna. That's probably going to get us back in the game. Yeah, that's a lot of four fours. Sigil. And Oblivion Ring. That's a lot of four fours. If he Gavney and Alpha strikes, are we dead? No, we have all blockers. He only has three oh, attackers right, yeah. outside of lands. Yep. Okay. Do we alpha? Do we attack? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He has eight mana. If he draws a land, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If he draws a land, he can attack with all four of these guys. We'll still have three blockers, and we can take one. So I think we can attack with with Helios. Agreed. Um. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Because it puts him on a two-turn clock. Yeah. And I wonder if he's going to forget... a dead next turn clock. If he forgets about Kitchen Finks... It, it doesn't matter now, but if last turn if he forgot about Kitchen Finks, it would actually give him one less attacker. Wow! <laughs> top... Wait, what happened? He top-decked Quasali Pride Mage last turn, and this turn he top-decked Abrupt Decay. Wow. He just gets red cap now and kills us. Yes, he does. Wow! Okay. Sometimes that happens. That's that's the luckiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Well, that's a thing, I guess. All right. Wow. I feel like timely reinforcements might be fine. I still don't think it's fine. Do we, I, I mean, like, terrible. why do we have rune halo? Isn't it better than just? Isn't it just better than rune halo? 
I, I don't think so. Rune Halo can name a creature he has in play or a murderous red cat. I and guess. Tyler reinforcements, it doesn't actually do anything. All right, I'm going to trust you, but... He's always going to have less life. All right, this hand's terrible. And one ones don't do anything. All no, right, we're doing good. Okay, he went to 6-2, so I feel a little bit about that. Oh, perfect. The perfect hand. Go to 5. No, I was going to say it's a perfect hand, but it's not terrible. It's a perfect 5. Oh, it's top. <sighs> Seriously? Wow. What does Miller Pot even play his Thoughtseize? Yeah, he plays a couple in the sideboard. What in the earth, man? Whatever. I don't even care. We'll just draw Wrath. We won't. Trust me, if there's one person who's drawing lucky in this matchup, it is not us. Did anything lucky happen in game one? I think um, you just scooped. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. See? That's what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. We have one card in hand. He has five. Do not think this match favors. I don't understand how. We only mulliganed one less. But he, he drew two cards. He drew a card, so he was two cards ahead of us from the opening. Yep. Yep, we have one more on board, so if he plays one, he'll be up two. Same as same as normal. You just hold this. I don't see a reason to now that we know he's playing Thoughtseize. So what do we what do we name then? Voice of Resurgence. Maybe? Really? He's not gonna, if he wants to spend two mana and attack with his voice. Seems like right, let's just name Murderous Red Cat. That's then. what I was actually that's what I was thinking. Not murder of crows. So no cards in hand, he has perfect info. Yeah, I don't see how we're winning this game. I don't either, unless we draw like Absol draw absolutely perfectly. Chomp, chomp, but you eat chomp, chomp. Oh, there you go. How does he draw multiple abrupt decays and call slime prime ages every game? I don't know. It seems really good, right? Alright, we're getting somewhere. He's got three cards. They could be nothings. If he had Birthing Pot, he would have played that. I feel like he might have even played another creature before Crystal Prime Age just to get more damage through this turn. He's got two cards. We're not dead yet. It's not looking great, but we're not dead yet. This deck would benefit from some kind of card draw. Well, like what though? It's mono white. I know. There was the other deck had endless horizons in it. Yeah, that card's sweet. So it basically, says you take all your planes out. You're gonna and draw you a planes every turn, turn. Yeah. and you get to draw a gas every turn from the deck. Is it both, or do you get to choose? You get a planes every upkeep, and you get to uh, draw a card too. Yes, you're correct. Revel Arc. All right, let's name Revel Arc. Nice. So a little behind, but we're not out of it yet. Not really. He has one card and two two on board. Yeah, so he can kill us in eight turns. <laughs> we should be able to draw out of it by then. Revel Arc. And a Heliod is turned on. Um, a Chomped. What? In Tumor Exarch. Return a creature card from your graveyard or turn opponent. Okay, so neither of those modes are actually useful. No. It's a good card, though. It had potential. I used to play that guy in standard pod decks. Sweet. Well... I mean, we need a fifth land anyway. Nope, not that one. But not like, a sixth land. Yeah, we don't want a sixth land. So we have three turns. Oh, awesome land for him. So yeah, we have. We can get out of it still. Not yet. Chomp, chomp, butchoey, chomp, chomp. 
That's what I thought too. Yeah, that's the. Oh, okay. Keep playing those top decks. Man, if only we named Voice of Resurgence. Well, then we wouldn't have named Revel. Oh, you instead of instead of Murder Strike Cat. I see which. Well, we'd be a twelve now, which is actually much much better. Well, this is our last turn. If we draw a Sphere of Safety, does that do anything? No, yeah, he has one, plenty of mana. Five. He'd have to tap five per creature. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. It'd actually, be one short. Uh, Wrath of God. Mm, no, that doesn't do anything. No, we're dead. One shy. Pretty close, though. Yeah, not too bad. Surprise. We, we also mold to five, so what can you do? Next card, Heliod. Another Oblivion Ring. If we had one more turn, we would have drawn four lands in a row. All right. Actually, not too bad. 